I hope you don't hear my dog snacking on her food in the back. <laughs> Forgive me, but I'm conflicted. <sighs> we could go with refuse. I, I guess the way I'm understanding is I refuse to let her go, I guess. Right? I don't know. And then over here, agree is like, I agree to let her go. And then over here, it's like, I don't know. I just, I just hope. I don't freaking know. I don't know, guys. If it was me, if it was me, this is tough. I would let her live with the guilt with me, you know? I don't want her to get off easy and just have me, you know, take my quote unquote revenge for taking my daughter out, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I want to go of hope or. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go of hope. Maybe we could invent something else. We deserve that. <sighs> Let me see. I understand what you're missing. I figured out what you're missing. You've been fuming inside for years because you have no hope. But no one can live like this. Not really. I need hope. That you'll be okay. That you will heal. That life will go on. And maybe you will. There's a You and I can talk. Really talk. About everything. Mm. And if, unfortunately, things don't turn out that way. If you were to die. At least we'll have had this. Hope that things change. Hope to change. I'm not forgiving you, Marie. As Astrid would say, there's nothing to forgive in an accident. That's true. The only one I want to forgive is myself. Right. I forgive myself for my failures. For not believing in myself for so long. I'm sorry I had such a hard time realizing how strong I am in my own way. I have That's the right. strength to live. I even have the strength to help you live if it comes to that. That's right. And with some help from the people who love us, you and I can heal. It's not that many. Uh, it sounds like <laughs> just like my husband's lot of friends or family, perhaps. Oh, let's see, the silence in the room is the only disrupted by the faith beeping of the medical devices. Marie's eyes are closed and she's perfectly still. A moment goes by gazing upon her mother's journal. Seems at peace then. Marie's hands had twitches. It's small, it's moving, barely, oh. Mom! Okay. You promised we'd go to the bar. So it's like she's throwing signs of life? Five more minutes, will you? Oh my gosh. Do I want to? Is that really how I want to end this? Is that really how I want to end it? She's trying to sign for life. But like I said, if it was me, I don't want her to get off scot-free and not suffer a lot when I suffer, but not just, I don't know, think over things. Hold on, rephrase. I just, I just don't want her to get off scot-free and feel like she could take the easy road out and not just think about what just happened, this accident, what happened to her god, not my godchild, how to her granddaughter, uh, the relations with her daughters, her past stuff. It's, it's like she tried to get an easy out. And since she kind of contributed to this accident low key, you know, unbuckling her granddaughter and like, you know, take off her jacket 
I guess she feels a little bit of guilt and she gave that power to Juno, right? Juno? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce these names. Juno to decide what to do with her because she she feels like she played a hand in, you know, her god, I must say goddaughter again, her grandchild's demise. So she feels like it's only right to give Juno the chance to, I don't know, play a hand in her demise, but uh, I just don't want her to get out scot free. Like, if I pulled a plug on her, uh, it's going to damage the relationship with my sister and I need her. I don't really have that many family members, it sounds like. It doesn't sound like, uh, what's her name? Jo Jonon's father's in her life, so she probably doesn't know her father's side of the family. And then her mother, she has a crappy, you know, relationship with her family and she never seen her talk to them. So all she got is her sister, you know what I'm saying? And of course, she got Alex. So the only three people I could think of, probably her aunt's probably still living. living. I don't, I'm not too sure. And then uh, Alex, her ex-husband, they seem like they're on one accord and her sister. So I don't want China to damage any relationships and we, we need the help. And it sounds like, it sounds like her sister is going to help if something happens to the mother, you know, if she doesn't bounce back right away. Because there is a small sliver chance if... People doesn't realize this, but there's there's a small chance that people come back normal. Like I have a best friend and his father had a type of brain type of injury and he had surgery. But the only thing that really changed in his life was he lost his sense of smell, but that's pretty much it. He's back to pretty much normal. So there's a small chance that her, the, the side effects of her bouncing back from this it might not be as bad as what it may seem. Ugh, not too sure. This is really conflicting. So, because of all that, I'm just gonna confirm. The end. Perfect. We got Mom! it. Mom! <laughs> all right, all right, Ashid. Here we go. At last! Are you happy with your story? I think so. Fine. I think I'm happy. You'll read it to me later? Mm, I'm not sure. It's not really a story for kids. And I want to trade the reds to Gazaris today. Did you know his tail is actually a snake? Girl, what is that? Really? Can I try it too? Only if we buy ice cream on our way back. Seems like a well, just sounds really me. good right now. Perfect. I'm satisfied with that ending. I'm satisfied. I'm content. If y'all had a different ending. Let me know, but I, I, my, my conscience feels a little bit clear. I thought this a little bit through. I was considering everybody's feelings and thoughts. I was considering the accident, what the daughter said. Ugh, I just want to give up hope. And I hope the sauce not copywritten because I got time for this. <laughs> I don't have time for this, but it was a beautiful game. I appreciated the storyline. I was hoping I had more freedom to have some more options, change the dialogue a little bit, but I, I guess based off the flow of the game, it was just enough control, you know? Some parts frustrated me, such as clicking on the words that were in random places on the screen, because I swore I clicked on it. But luckily, after the flashbacks, I technically had another chance to click on it technically, technically. Then another thing is that I like the art style. It's very different. Uh, typically, when I see what's called characters and stuff in games talk, their mouse moves, they did it. Um, or I see a move over here. It's like an art picture style. So they had pictures of scenes and stuff like that. And I really like that. That's kind of different. And I like how... It's going over the stages of grief and how Joan is thinking about her current life and her past life and just taking the time to think about how things are or is and how or why it got to that point. I kind of like that because that's how I think too in my real life. I like to think outside the box, think of other options, think of possibilities, but yeah. And that's the game, but I, I like it. This is a different type of gaming style that I'm not even used to. <laughs> and I would play more games like this. This is interesting. It gave me like a, what's it called? A telltale type of vibe, you know, as far as like picking choices. 
I feel like my choices didn't impact anything. I think the main choice that really impacted stuff was pretty much my final choice, which is to let my mother live or die. But eh. Other than that, thank you for watching this little series. I appreciate it. I hope to play another gameplay. There's a few games on my list this month that's on my radar. There's a lot of games next month in April that's definitely on my radar. But I'll try to fit everything in because I have some vacations planned and I'm going to try to take a chill pill for once in my life and not work on stuff. <sighs> I appreciate this roller coaster that we all been on, this emotional roller coaster. And I hope you all have a beautiful week. Bye month. Bye.